Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and today we are going to check out a bunch of amazing, amazing USA-made Microtech knives. Now, my plan was to do a little bit better video or a lot better video. I had to plan to do um, an amazing best of US, the best USA made knives ever. But, you know, I got injured and a bunch of things happened. So, you know, I've just had a uh, friend's knives entirely way too long and I need to get them back to him. So I am just going to show off the knives because at the very least I can do that. So we have the Scarab 2. Now this one has a reversed serrations on the knife that was that was um, put on by Razor's Edge Knives. Now only 25 were done with serrations. This knife is about a 14 hundred dollar knife has amazing amazing action you can see the button has the stair step effect that offers not only a good launching zone for your finger but also good grip with a lot of leverage so when you put your finger there you have a, a good amount of grip so that you can build tension to push through the spring because these do come with very strong springs and you do have to use a lot of finger strength to launch them. We have a glass breaker here in the back, an aluminum body, beautiful satin finish on the aluminum body, and yeah, it is absolutely amazing. Let's get to the next one. Now, the next one, even the, the packaging on these are really, really nice. Now, the next one we have is a Combat Truodon. <laughs> combat custom truodon with blue twill carbon fiber beautiful blue accents and we have awesome serrations double edged don't mind the clip we're not speaking to just you <laughs> a glass breaker on the back and if you really look at the deployment it has a blue effect on the edges and on the top of the pad. And you can see the, what looks like almost like drips of rain, almost like raindrops on the sides with those polished dots. The launch is really good on this, very consistent. Again, the deployment button has, again, the stair step effect that offers a good amount of grippiness and a good amount of tension. You can see the blue twill carbon fiber. Beautiful, beautiful carbon fiber. Again, that satin on the aluminum. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous knife. Now we have a few to get through, so let's get to the next one. Now this next one is, I think a lot of people know this knife very well. We have the Stitch with aftermarket, um, serrations on it. There's only about five to six thousand a year um, of these made, so these are obtainable. You can get these, and they're about four hundred and fifty bucks. Great ergos, very very comfortable in the hand. The blade shape is a very functional blade shape, whether it's for self defense or EDC. This one has these very aggressive serrations and then it has an auto button so it is spring loaded as you can see so you can't reverse flick this hole the hole basically does nothing but you can hit that button and it will launch out nice strong spring solid lockup huge stop pin everything about this is overbuilt and you can really feel and tell that this is built with purpose. Almost perfect centering. I'm sure that could be adjusted. These, you know, have been uh, used and everything, or maybe not used a lot, but have been loved. So, awesome, awesome knife. Nice coating. You can see the Microtech logo through the coating. 
and the aluminum handle has this texturing on it that offers a lot of grip. Same thing with the backspacer. I believe this is an aluminum backspacer as well. Lots of grip from that. The deep, the carry, the clip is not deep carry, so you can easily obtain it and get it out and get it deployed without fumbling around. The spine of the blade has some, some jimping as well to give you some texturing while it's in your grip. Same thing with the finger choil. Has a good amount of grip there as well. Lots of hardware. Extremely, extremely well built. Let's get to the next one. Now this next knife is not even a Microtech. This is a Tom Mayo. Tom Mayo makes some of the smoothest action knives I've ever felt on washers. They are just super duper glassy. They are made to slow roll. The detents are very light. You can flick it, but it, it's made to roll. You can just tell with the action, but like I said, you can flick it. This one has a Tonto with a convex edge towards the front. Hollow grind with a hand set and finish. Then we have these mosaic pins inlaid into the handle, the titanium. It is a titanium frame lock. We have another mosaic pin down here. Yes, it is tipped down, but it's a relatively small knife. Comfortable ergos, lightweight, um, especially with... Um, you know how, how small and compact it is. Not a large knife at all. And Tom Mayo does make knives in Hawaii. S30V. Now this one is a little bit of an older model. You can see a lot of Tom Mayo's work on Instagram if you go to his Instagram. But what a gorgeous knife. I've checked out a few Mayos in the past. And yeah, they've, they've always impressed me with their... Um, High levels of fit and finish and, you know, just their smoothness for a handmade knife. Next, we have the Microtech SOCOM Delta. Now, this is, ooh, that was my fault, badassery all the way around. This is a 2012 Blade Show Knife of the Year. Only about 30 or 40 of these were made. It has a dual hollow ground Tonto blade. So it has a hollow grind up here and a hollow grind here. This one is much thinner than this one up here. And you can see the transition of the, the grinds because this is still thick right here. And it has a deep fuller riding down both sides of the blade. Giant thumb studs with an amazing launch pad around the thumb stud where no matter where you grip it at, it's very comfortable and grips your thumb very well. Titanium frame lock. I believe the blade steel on this is M390 or 20CV. We have a titanium frame lock with a steel lock bar insert. And you can see their hardware is... Um, their own in-house made hardware so you'd have to have their bits to take it apart beautiful backspacer with the Microtech logo and all the information a Marfion custom extremely extremely well done it just I love the overbuiltness of it very comfortable ergos and you know all titanium built with the highest precision the access to the lock bar very easy to disengage very smooth rolling it out i think this one is on ceramic caged bearings in my opinion this is one of the most ultimate Actual tactical knives, real life tactical. Look at that overbuilt stop pin, and I believe the, the stop pin is the thumb studs. 
but then in the closed position, this one is the stop pin. You didn't even need a stop pin that big in the closed position, but they did it anyways. A precision tip, and it actually gets down very thin behind the edge. The regular SOCOM Elite is a, is a flat grind, so this just takes it to a whole nother level. Let's get to the next one. Now here's a change of pace. We have a little mini. This is the UTX-70 Spartan because it has the Spartan blade. These are only around $200 with a 2.9 inch blade. It's gonna be legal in a lot of areas. Aluminum body with a glass breaker on the back. You still can get a full four finger grip. Double edged Spartan blade. Basically, it's a double-edged tanto in a way, or you could call it a spear point. It's a spear point um, or a dagger. But if you looked at just this edge, that's a tanto edge. You flip it around, that's a tanto edge just mashed together or mixed together. Beautiful looking knife, 204P, which is basically the same thing as M390 and 20CV. Again... The button has a great stair-stepping effect for maximum leverage to deploy it. And you can always see the dates on them. Awesome, awesome little knife. Very reliable, very clicky. The spring is still nice and strong, though. These knives will never deploy in your pocket. They, um, they have too much tension on the spring. You have to actually use muscle. I think the first time anybody ever picks up one of these and actually deploys it, they realize how, how, how much muscle. Sometimes you'll see people, they'll actually have to use two hands just to deploy it because they are that strong. Next, we have... <laughs> so this is the Scarab 2. Um, the Shadow. Now, this one's specifically made for Navy SEALs, and I'm going to explain why here in one second. We have a beautiful serrated drop point blade, almost a spear point blade, but it is a drop point. Beautiful swedge on the top. Lots of gripping all the way around. Again, the deployment button does have the stair step effect for maximum leverage. Because it does have that nice strong spring glass breaker on the back. And then this is rubberized grip. So it's kind of like um, skateboard tape but except done in rubber. So it offers a lot of traction. So if your hands are wet. Because remember this one was made for Navy SEALs. So it has to be good under wet conditions. Now here's the, the big thing. These little serrations down here at the bottom that is specifically so this thing can be deployed under water most otfs will not deploy under water when you go to deploy them they fail this is made to deploy underwater and be able to reliably be used in super wet conditions no matter what that is awesome that is badass all the way around because you never know when you're going to need your blade and especially if you're a navy seal that that's a must right that's a must have and this thing just kicks ass all the way around now the next one last night is the microtech hawk a self-defense knife with what a blade shape that resembles a hawk's talon this thing is a recurved blade, hawk, hawk bill recurved blade that acts like a claw. And if this thing snags you, you, you know, you're getting caught. It, it's, it, it, the, the recurve part helps trap materials. And then the, the tip of it is going to, no matter what, like when you go into something, it's going to pull it towards you. It's going to penetrate the aluminum handle is extremely, extremely comfortable. Um, love the plunge grind here. It's made to be sharpened. That's a beautiful plunge grind. I wish all plunge grinds looked like that. Well, maybe not all, but most. Beautiful stop pin. Very reliable, strong spring. You can hear it click back in.
This thing, this one is an older model, and the clip is made not to be very deep carried because they want you to be able to grip it, get it out, and deploy it fast. It's that's what it's made for. It's not made to be a regular EDC knife that you might be able to spare a couple seconds on getting it in and out of your pocket. This is made to be able to rapidly get out and get into action as soon as you need it. The steel is ATS 34. And the year on this one is, look at this, look at how old this one is, 1996. That is a very old knife, and you can see how well it's done. Now, it might not have been beat on and hard used, but this thing has survived a very long time and is practically a brand new knife still. Still has a great edge, um, and it's ready for action. The lockup is rock solid still. I might be able to muscle a little side to side, but that could be you know, uh, tightened up with the pivot, but the up and down, no up and down, that's amazing. This thing is, <laughs> you know, it, it's gone a long time to still be in perfect condition. The hardware is nice and big. But there you guys go. A quick look at a bunch of badass USA made knives. Also, I want to thank the person that did send these to me. I do appreciate it. Um, I feel bad that I wasn't able to get the exact video I wanted out. Uh, but, you know, I, I still do appreciate it. And I'm still happy that I get to show the audience these amazing, amazing knives. I love you guys. Peace.